Hi everyone and welcome to your Let's Move monthly challenge with myself Leon Wormley and my mum Janet. I hope you are all safe and well and it's good to be back isn't it mum? It is. Your challenge for this month is the step challenge. Now if you've not got a step available we will be demonstrating a slightly easier toe tap version. The aim of this challenge is to work continuously until you get slightly out of breath. You may want to record the length of time achieved without stopping so that each day you can try and improve on your time. First of all, you need to find yourself a safe non-slip step to perform this movement and ensure you're feeling fit and well enough for exercise on the day. So, my mum is going to perform um, the step challenge on a step in her back garden. Just make sure that your feet are hip width apart and you're nice and stable and balanced to start off with. Now what I would advise is just taking it into a toe tap, so just toe tapping the step to start off with, just to get those uh, joints loosened up and just get that blood circulating a little bit. You can use this as a little bit of a warm up. And then once you're feeling confident, okay, step up onto the step, make sure that your feet are flat on the step and slowly take that step back. Nice and strong through those legs as we step up and when we step back off. Make sure your feet are hip width apart once you make that step up. And if you need some additional support when performing the step up and step off, then please use it. If you want a slightly easier version, then just stay with the toe tap. So just toe tapping out in front, chest out, chin up, so we're in good standing posture. If any of you are a bit unsteady on your feet, you can use the bottom step of your stairs, you can hold on to the banister rail for support. And if you've not got a step available, you can just take it out into a toe tap from a standing position. You might want to hold on to uh, the dining room table off to the side or a chair, or you could take it into a box step. So we step forward, step back, just to keep alternating that leading foot. Right everyone, this is a daily challenge, but please listen to your body. If you do experience any sharpness in pain, any unusual pain or dizziness, please stop the exercise. This challenge will help to mobilise and strengthen the muscles and joints of the lower body, including the hip and knees. Support healthy blood flow and improve the efficiency of the heart and lungs. By improving these areas, we can look to tackle activities of daily living a little bit more easily, including walking and climbing stairs. And don't forget to send in any photos or videos of yourselves undertaking the challenge and let us know any success and improvements you will make over the course of the month. And we will see you next time. Next time.